Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how to create your very own digital diary using the Remo SD One Mini and an SD card module. This diary lets you securely store website passwords, credit card details, and personal notes, all accessible through an attractive, responsive web interface. No need for internet, we'll use AP mode to create a standalone system. Stay tuned as I guide you through every step of this exciting and practical project. Let's get started. The heart of this project is the Remos D1 Mini, a compact yet powerful microcontroller. It's perfect for this digital diary because it features built-in Wi-Fi, allowing us to create a secure access point for our web portal. Its small size makes it ideal for portable projects, and it has enough processing power to handle user inputs, manage SD card storage, and serve the HTML interface seamlessly. In this project, we are using an SD card module, a crucial component that enables us to store and manage all the data for our digital diary. This module works seamlessly with the Remos D1 Mini, it uses the SPI protocol for fast and reliable communication, allowing us to save and retrieve data effortlessly. It's a perfect solution for creating offline data management systems like this. The mini SD card shield simplifies data storage in this project. It directly stacks onto the Remos D1 Mini with built-in level shifting for safe communication and support for standard FAT32 SD cards, it ensures reliable storage of your passwords, notes, and other details. Its plug-and-play design makes it a perfect choice for our digital diary, keeping your data secure and easily manageable. Here we are using an SD card formatted to the FAT32 system. There are two ways to build this digital diary using a mini SD card shield or an SD card module. Let's start with the mini SD card shield method. To use the mini SD card shield, simply stack it directly onto the Remos D1 Mini using the matching pin headers. Ensure the shield's pins align properly with the corresponding pins on the D1 Mini. This setup eliminates the need for jumper wires making it compact and tidy. Points to remember. Ensure the SD card is formatted to FAT32 before use. The shield uses the SPI protocol, so the correct pins, D5, D6, D7, D8, must match in your code. Check that the stack is firmly connected to avoid communication errors during operation. Now let's see an another method to use SD card module with Remos D1 Mini. First install Remos D1 Mini on the breadboard. Now take an SD card module and install it on the breadboard. Now take red jumper wire and connect one end to VCC pin of the module and other end to 5 volt pin of D1 Mini. Take black wire and connect ground of the module to ground of the Mini. Take orange wire and connect the CK pin of the module to D5 pin of the Mini. Take blue jumper wire and connect missile pin of the module to D6 pin of the D1 Mini. Take green jumper wire and connect Moji pin of the module to D7 pin of the D1 Mini. Take yellow jumper wire and connect CA's pin of the module to D8 pin of the D1 Mini. 
And with this, all our connections are done. Now take formatted SD card and insert into the SD card module and connect data cable to the D1 Mini. And now we are ready to upload the sketch. Download the sketch from the link given in the description and open into the Arduino ID. In this project, we need to install ESP8266 Wi-Fi library, ESP8266 web server library and an SD card library. Here we have defined D8 pin for chip select pin of the module. Enter your desired SSID and password for the AP mode. This section of the sketch contains the HTML code for the web portal. It defines the structure and design of the page, including input fields for adding website details, credit card information, and notes. The setup function initializes the SD card, configures the Wi-Fi access point, and sets up the web server routes for handling user requests. Handle root serves the main HTML page to the user. Handle save, processes and saves new entries in JSO format. Handle delete, removes a specific entry from the SD card. Handle format, clears all saved data. Read entries, reads and returns all stored entries. Count entries, counts total number of stored entries. Delete entries, deletes all data on the SD card. And with this, we are ready to upload the sketch to the Wemos D1 Mini. Hit Upload button. Check Serial Monitor to get server start notification along with IP address. To connect to the AP mode, open your phone's Wi-Fi settings and look for the network named Digital Diary. Tap to connect and enter the password provided in the project. Once connected, Open a browser and go to the IP address displayed by the microcontroller to access the web portal. On the portal, use the drop-down menu to select the type of data you want to save. Website details. Input fields appear for the website name, username, and password. Credit card details. Fields for card name and card number will show. Enter the details you want to save and hit the button. Your entry will be saved instantly. Notes. A text area is available to write and save personal notes. Saved entries are displayed below in style cards. To edit an entry, click the edit button, modify the details, and save. To delete an entry, click the delete button. Use the search bar to quickly find specific entries and the format SD card button to erase all data at once for a fresh start. This HTML page is served locally from the microcontroller, allowing it to work seamlessly offline without the need for an internet connection. And that's it, our digital diary is complete and working beautifully. You've seen how easy it is to save, edit, delete, and search for entries using this user-friendly web portal. This project is not only fun to build, but also incredibly practical for managing sensitive information security. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting projects. Let's build something amazing together. See you in the next video. I am DHK Dude, signing off.